Halloween is upon us and I have decided today to make something special with pumpkin. I am going to do a pumpkin pizza. It can be difficult sometimes for Halloween to do something different with pumpkin. And I find that um, this recipe of the pumpkin pizza is actually really good. So I have got this puff pastry. I really like it because it has got the least amount of carbs in all of the all of the pastries that you can buy so that's why for me I really like it now what you want for this recipe is you want to make the um, pastry really thin um, because you don't want it to just like fluff up too much you know so what I'm going to do is I am going to take a rolling pin and I'm going to try and make it a little bit bigger first I will so that it doesn't stick to my rolling pin, putting a little bit of flour. I just want it to be slightly bigger, you know, nothing really special. Then when we're going to get it ready, we're going to put it on a big thing like this that you get into your oven. So the whole space is taken. Look at this, it's perfect. Very happy. Now, what is important is to pierce holes in the pastry before you do anything. With a fork, just make holes. Once this is done, set it aside and then what you, because your pastry will cook very quickly. So what you need to, uh, hold on. Um, so you need, uh, as we're going to put mushrooms on the, um, on the pizza, you want the mushrooms to be a little bit cooked before. So I have bought these lovely brown mushrooms. You want to cut. It's my dog. Musa. Come here. Do you want to show your face and show people that it's you? Look, it's you. Come on. Ali, go to your bed. So forgive, go to your bed. Forgive me for this. So you just cut in thin slices the mushrooms. You can use any types of mushrooms. I like these ones because they will give you a lovely color, you know, on your pizza. Also, the good thing about these ones is that they don't reduce so much. You know, when sometimes when you cook mushrooms, um, they, they're like big and they, they get all small and everything because obviously they lose their water. But these ones tend to be better because they keep, they retain their shape a little bit better. And with this, you will want to have a little bit of onions as well. I am cooking first in some heated olive oil the onions so that they get a little bit translucent but then quite quickly I'll add the mushrooms so that they start cooking together and then let's deal with the pumpkin. For the pumpkin you know you can buy these ready-made pumpkin bits so I find for me that it's easier because I find it very tiresome to actually try and, and cut it take everything out so I mean obviously you know it's, it's, it's me but look then you just make slices like that with a peeler, the vegetable peeler. Look, it's very quick and it's very easy. Since I'm doing this for the internet and I want it to look nice for you when you see it in pictures, I am going to kind of grill the, uh, the pumpkin, but you do not need to. I mean, this is just so that it looks nice, but to, you, I've done it without grilling it before and it's perfectly fine. It's just that it will look nicer for the picture. I am putting some sort of cream cheese on, um, on my pizza. Um, I've just bought this little brand in Carrefour, uh, but you can use you know, Philadelphia cheese. Don't forget at this point to start your oven on. I am putting it onto, uh, I've got something special for pizza, but you know, any other one will be fine. Just try and spread it. I don't know with what you could do it with, maybe. Oh. Oh no. It's funny because I never use this because I don't do cakes, but hey, that's the one. That's the one. Gonna much easier, much easier. So you want to make sure that your cheese is spread everywhere. The thickness of it will depend on you. Um, you know, in the description of the video, I always, always add the ingredients, but also the cup content, so that is quite detailed. As well as if you need to know about the fat protein index, it will be in there as well. Okay, my pizza's done. 
So what do we do first? We put the mushrooms. Lovely. Then you will add the lovely pumpkin. I will cut into very thin strips the um, sauge in French. I don't know what it's called in English. Because it gives it, normally you cook this one in front anyway. You cook it with meat a lot. But with that, because we're going to add at the end of it ham, uh, prosciutto or ham, oh, it's going to be really good. Then you want to cut some olives, little black olives. There will be some orange, there's some black, some brown. It's like the colors of autumn, you know. Looking good. I forgot the provolone cheese. I'm making little cubes of it. Let's put it in the oven for around 15-20 um, minutes. And then we will add one more ingredient. Ooh. I am excited. Hold on, let me just show you. I'm putting it first hot on this because I don't want the um, pastry underneath to uh, get all soggy. So, obviously be very careful because it is really hot. Now, look at this. So happy, that looks really good. So I have got here some um, slices of ham, um, Spanish ham, Serrano ham, but you can put any Parma ham or something like this. What we like in my family is to have it really thinly sliced. Ooh, I am also adding a little bit of greens with uh, rucuna. Honestly, it's not because I've made it, but honestly, it's like, nice. <laughs> and then a little bit of these greeny bits. You are done. You can just be like me and be proud of yourself. Bit of olive oil. And that's it. That's it, my friend. You can enjoy it. I hope you are going to love it. I'm I have made pumpkin soup very very good with a little bit of an Asian twist to it I'm going to leave it somewhere either in each corner really delicious and not a plain pumpkin soup this is um, I recommend this very much and I will see you next time my friend please look after yourself bye